Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I wanna welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is, God is pleased with your heart posture. Hallelujah, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. So when I woke up this morning, God gave me the word long suffering. And I know many of you know what that word is. So um, I went ahead and I asked the Lord, I was like, okay, God, long suffering. I know what that is, but you know, what are you saying pertaining that? And God was saying that he was pleased with my heart posture as it, as it concerns long suffering. And God is also saying that he is pleased with your heart posture as it is concerned long suffering hallelujah thank you jesus and god is downloading things into my spirit right now and he said that it's not only just for marriage but also every area of your life many of you have long suffered through a lot of things many of you have persevered through a lot of things in your life some of you have not been dealt the best cards in your life my god today but the lord is saying that i am well pleased with the posture of your heart as it is concerned long suffering and I know we may not have done the best things we may not have made the best decisions along the way but all in all you have endured and you have persevered and know that God is going to bless you know that God is going to reward you for your obedience for your perseverance for your patient endurance for the long suffering that you have mastered and also when when you get into marriage that is something that you are going to have to master is long suffering and I'm not saying that you're going to have to suffer in your marriage but you know Know, sometimes we have to know how to endure through certain things hallelujah thank you Jesus and like I said not just for marriage but other things and when God plans to use you in a mighty way as it concerns ministry as it concerns your purpose and your calling you have to know how to long suffer hallelujah thank you Jesus because you just never know what you're going to be up against my God today and God is with you the spirit of the living God is always with you he is always going to be holding you up when you feel that you can no longer hold yourself up trust and know that God is right behind you hallelujah thank you Jesus now for those of you who want to know the exact definition of long suffering the definition of long suffering that i found that i really liked from google it says having or showing patience in spite of troubles especially those caused by other people my god today and so you know heavy on especially those caused by other people okay and this is um, I'm speaking towards now your marriage promise you know some of you who are already married your husband has gone astray your wife may have gone astray something may have happened and you know they're not in their right state of mind anymore they may not have been treating you right they may have just been like just not focused on this marriage not putting anything into the marriage and you're just pouring out everything pouring it all out pouring it all out and God knows that and God says that he loves you and he's comforting you and he is going to restore you and also those of you who are not yet married but have been standing for this promise and waiting for this promise and waiting for God to do exactly what he says he's going to do it has been such a difficult road at times it has been so heart-wrenching my God today I can feel your pain Jesus and the Lord is saying he is proud of you hallelujah and your reward will be great in the name of Jesus we are in the home stretch God is so proud of your heart posture to stand and endure. Glory to God. And even those of you who are dealing with unbelieving husbands or unbelieving wives, know that they will be saved in Jesus' name. We have came up against so many things during this fast. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And if they are already saved and just needing deliverance or just needing to come back to, to Christ to have a renewed mind, yes, God, the Lord is doing all of these things you are sanctifying your unbelieving husband you are sanctifying your unbelieving wife by by praying for them by standing in the gap for them hallelujah thank you jesus and i want to read the scripture as that is concerned and this is first corinthians 7 chapter 14 um first corinthians chapter 7 verses 14 and it reads for the unbelieving husband has been sanctified through his wife and the unbelieving wife has been sanctified through her believing husband otherwise your children would be unclean but as it is they are holy hallelujah thank you jesus so this is proof right here that if you are standing for an unbelieving wife or an unbelieving husband hallelujah thank you jesus and, and they have not opted to get a divorce 
if the person that you're standing for, if you are not married yet, is not yet saved, you are sanctifying them through your prayers, through your fasting, through your belief. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so we have to be patient with this process. My God, today. And then also, as I was speaking about your reward being great, the Lord is saying, trust and know that I am going to bless you for this heart posture. I am going to bless you for your long suffering. I am not going to put you to shame. Yes, indeed. God has seen every tear. God has known every single struggle that you've came up against on this journey. And yes, he is going to show up and show out for you. Hallelujah. And um, as that is concerned, God has given me Luke chapter 6 verses 35 through 36 and that reads but love your enemies do good to them and lend to them without expecting to get anything back then your reward will be great and you will be children of the most high because he is kind to the ungrateful and and wicked <clears throat> let me read that last part again because he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked be merciful just as your father is merciful hallelujah thank you jesus so god has been teaching us his character god has been teaching us how to handle these spouses in the midst of this turmoil in in, in the midst of these trials and tribulation and god is saying your reward will be great yes god and you have stood the 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 test of these trials and tribulations and, and long suffering without expecting anything back and so that is the heart posture of god you have taken on the character of christ thank you jesus and so yes indeed your reward will be great so continue to stand because we are in the home stretch hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god mm -mm -mm. And so, y'all, I just want to encourage you and just to let you know that you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You are at the right place at the right time. God is blessing you. God is moving mountains. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Day six of the prayer. It was powerful. God moved in a mighty way. It is done in Jesus' name. God is doing mighty great works in your love story, in your marriage, in everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. In your business, in your ministry, with your children. God is doing a great work and he is in, uh, he is enlarging your territory in the name of Jesus so stay in faith patient endurance all you got to do is persevere to the end the one who endures to the end shall be saved hallelujah in the name of jesus if you feel led to sow into this word i will leave the information in the comment section and the description box below and i want to thank everybody so much who has sown thus far i pray that the lord increases you and blesses you a thousand fold in jesus name and if you do sow a seed put in the um, comment section god is pleased with my heart posture hallelujah jesus god is pleased with my heart posture and even if you don't so put in the comment section god is pleased with my heart posture because yes he is yes he is and i was so excited that god decided to inform me that he was pleased with the long suffering that we have in, endured for marriage in in our financial life in our work life in every like so many things so many things that you have had to long suffer through and god is saying i see you i see you I love you and I care for you and it is not going to waste. Nothing that you've been through is going to waste. You are going to use that trial and, and, and tribulation to testify. Hallelujah. And also, if you desire to book a coaching or non-clinical counseling session with me, I will leave my booking site in the description and in the um, comment section below. But if you need afterpay, then send me an email at propheticmarriage at gmail.com. So let's say if um, if you can't afford to pay the full payment, all you have to do is pay the one payment, the first initial payment to secure the session. And then after that, you'll work with afterpay and they'll take the remaining three payments out of your account. But you only have to pay the first payment to get the session. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Share this video with a friend if you feel that it'll be helpful. Like this video if it resonates with you. Subscribe if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.